In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a page with a couple of affiliate banners. I'll upload the banners to the media section and use these on a new page. So as you can see on WordPress 3.3, this will be quite easy. Uh, you can simply drag and drop the banner to the upload area. That's the first banner. I'll add another one the same way. And don't just use the file name as the banner's title as I do here, just use something more meaningful. Okay, now that we have a couple of banners ready to use, we can create a banner page where our affiliates can choose the ones they like and obtain the HTML needed to embed these on their own pages. Actually, I'm using two different shortcuts here, one that simply renders the affiliate's URL and another one that renders an affiliate link or banner. For our banners, we need to add the attachment ID attribute to the shortcode. And to find out which ID our banners have, we simply look at the entry in the media library. You'll see the attachment ID parameter when hovering over the thumbnail or the edit link. So the um, link shortcode is used twice in each case, once to show how the link or banner looks like, and once more to show the HTML needed to render that link or banner. I'm logged in as the admin, who is not an affiliate, so there's no real affiliate IDs appended to the URLs. So let's see how this changes when an actual affiliate looks at the page. For that, I have to log out, of course, and log in as an affiliate. Okay, then visit the, um, the banner page. And as you can see, the affiliate's ID is appended to the URLs. Well, that's, uh, that's it. Setting up a banner page really just takes a couple of minutes and the uh, details about the shortcodes used here are on the website. So please take a look and check out the other videos as well.